First team entering for this tag team matchup here tonight. Wait a minute. Oh, here come the opposition. A pre-match beatdown. The bell hasn't even rung yet. What, what's this about? Tilting the match in their favor, of course. Well, obviously, this tag team giving themselves a distinct advantage before the match officially starts. Glad to see all the superstars involved have made it into the ring. But this is no longer a fair fight after that shocking assault while making their way to the ring. Certainly not how I thought we'd be starting this match. Yeah, it's just a little friendly warm-up before the match. There is nothing friendly about jumping someone when they're not looking, Corey. Brought down with a belly to back. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. And he barely evades. Brutus Creed showing absolutely no fear of his opponent. He beats the count, and this one continues. Shoulder block over and over in the corner. And a club to the back. Brutus is in full force here now. Can Sanga recover from this adversity? Gut-wrench suplex! He's looking a little off balance. Brutus showed off that mean streak with that one. He got whipped into that corner. Yikes, that'll either wake you up or knock you out. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's a free fall. Ah, clubbing blow to the back. Oh, the physicality on display there. Unbelievable. Heading up, he's thinking big. Taking flight. Bang, what a splash. Everything working against Saga now. Creed's making an opportunity for himself. Great tag team continuity, double team incoming. From out of the corner, into a fireman's carry, nicely done. He's getting pushed out of the defensive. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're gonna wind up with a few battle scars. Oh, brutal forearm. There's the tag. Shoulder tackle. Rolling into a monkey flip. Tagged with a punch. What a forearm. A single leg. In into a big backdrop. Vicious right forearm. Fear keeps him at bay. Put into the corner now. Handle finds its target. Over his head. Suplex. Tag made. Tag made. Always a volatile and unstable situation when superstars with a rivalry like this one get in the ring. It's basically just a recipe for disaster. They'll hold nothing back in their pursuit of victory. This is a deeply personal beef, and they're trying to settle it the only way they know how.
vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. Oh dear, this doesn't look good. Alley -oop. Standing shooting star. Devastating elbow. Looking wobbly in the corner. Dangerous position with your feet tied up like that. Saw that one coming. Took advantage. Target in the arm. This has got to hurt. Methodically targeting the arm. Oh, strikes with the back elbow. Tags him in. Showing off their deadlifting prowess and just tossing them aside. Shoulder tackle in the corner. And whatever the game plan, it didn't look to work out for Veer there. Tackles ruthless. He thinks he has it. He kicks out before the count starts. I was not expecting that from him at this point. There he goes, right into the corner. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Oh, uh, stop right there, gut. Tagged in. His tag team is just tremendous working together. Double teams. And it's about to get worse. Oh, draping double axe handle. You have to think these competitors expected this to be a difficult challenge. Even so, at this stage, things just get more and more dangerous. Fatigue starts setting in, and you don't know exactly how long your wits about you. They could quickly lead to error. Got the full Nelson. Slam! Oh, take it down. Ah, oh, heel hook. Look at this. Oh, that's so painful. It's hard to watch, too. So much torque on the knee and ankle. Tag. Oh. Look out. Thrown back in under the ropes. Draped across the top rope. This match's brutality starting to show on him. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Beautiful moonsault. <laughs> wow, did that just happen? There it is. Snap suplex. Headed to the top now. He made it. Tag made. Dismantling your opponent. What a counter by Brutus. Ran right through that close wow. line. What impact! Oh, 
Worked a big punch. Followed up with the massive headbutt. That's a free fall. Reaches his partner for the tag. Got the tag. Got the tag. You'll never see that coming. Jeez. Wait, 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 wait. Kicks out. Willie had less than a second to stay alive. Wait for it. Boom! With the clothesline. That's won it for Julius before. Looking for the victory. Got to find a way to get out of this. You can't prepare your face for that. Oh, counters right into the bread basket. Big boot to the gut, the clubbing forearm. Bam! Oh, wait a second. Roll up. Almost ended it there. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Left by the turnbuckles. Uh-oh. Face full of turnbuckle. And listen to this place. In the corner. Oh my, set fly. Gets tagged in. Oh, the blood fly. Ripped in the hard way. One step ahead of Bear there. He's absorbing some tough hits now. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner out. Julius Creed taking it down in the basement. Ready for it. Boom! With the clothesline. Mahat is absolutely laid out. He stops the count for his partner. Out of the way in time. He went right into that turnbuckle. Carry. Nicely done. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. Shoulder tackle. Look at that, Saxton. He's running away. Uh, I wouldn't say that. He's just recomposing himself. Oh, oh. Ooh. His defenses have fallen, and soon he may, too. This is getting hard to watch, guys. We might need to stop this one. Oh! Here is Creed looking to fly. Oh, and an elbow caught him and cleared him to the floor. to do next. Snake eyes. Sent into the corner. Uh-oh. Gets him with the counter. Oh, great display of strength with the suplex. Stomping every single part of his body. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. He's tagging out. We found the missing link, folks. Brutus Creed. Yeah, <laughs> Brutus. He scared the hell out of him. Gets the tag.
Team offense on its way. Perch now on the ropes, dropping the elbow. Saga sees the finish line. Cover! Ah, oh, look at this, just cranking it out. Cranking the head. You can feel the WWE Universe reverberating off every corner in this building. The Lion beginning his feast. Cervical clutch applied. Oh, just tap out. No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. He gets tagged in. Showing off their deadlifting prowess and just tossing them aside. All the way up. Sidewalk slam delivered. That's got to be it. Two. He did it. He did it. Nicely done. I'm not sure everyone would agree with you, but that blitz earlier certainly did pay off. It's got to hurt having a potential win stolen from you like this. Hey, they could have launched a surprise attack of their own. That's on them. That might just be one of the craziest things you've ever said. Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa. This is DIY. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 400 pounds. Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. DIY. Ciampa. Gargano, two men who went to war in NXT and came out the other side as an even stronger team. They've made a bet together and against each other, and it's brought them as close as a team can be. Now we're about to see a new chapter in their history tonight. I got a feeling this match is going to be too sweet. One of the most dominant and decorated teams in the world. And their opponents at a combined weight of 505 pounds. The World Tag Team Champions, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, the OC. The most dominant club in the world, marching towards the pinnacle of their collective careers.
The OC commands respect wherever they go, and their opponents had better be ready to show it. Certainly earn the respect, and they'll take it from anyone who won't give it willingly. The OC out here ready to handle their business like they've always done. This could easily turn into a brawl just the way the OC likes it. As accomplished as everyone in this group is, they all understand that sometimes you just have to scrap to get things done. That's something you have to respect. But they have a tall task ahead of them. Two men who will never stop fighting, Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. In more ways than one, Corey, if they can keep from fighting each other, They'll be unstoppable together. Having a weakened arm can limit you in so many ways, making it harder to execute on even simple attacks. Bam! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Shoulders down! And a kick out before even one there. Not yet. The better part of Valor. Placing them into the corner. Oh, right in there. Uh-oh. And Gallows reverses. Uh-oh. Oh, lands right on the knees. That can change everything. challenge there. Yeah, as Champa was showing just what he is willing to do to get ahead here. He's been placed in the corner now. Uh-oh. Uh he saw it coming, taking advantage. Oh, kick right to the gut. Pointing the leg, punishing the leg. Being hobbled like that, something to keep an eye on. Oh my God, a DDT! Spike them. Tag is made and here we go. Arm ringer and met with a right hand. but for how much longer? Oh, I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. Placed into the corner. Oh, Carl answers back. Uh-oh. Back and forth from these competitors. <laughs> Stiff elbow will break that up. Oh, man. His shoulders are down. He forces a break before the count of two. He's not letting fatigue set in or get the better of it. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Carl just getting knocked around. The black heart continues beating. Gargano strike hits the mark. Guys, what are they planning to do here? Using the ropes in a stretch chicken win? And Carl must have been thinking more about his check than this match during that one. Spike by the inverted Frank. 
Frankensteiner. The amount of leg strength it takes to pull off such a maneuver is incredible. And tag, he did it. Let's go. And he kicks out at two. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Gargano gets reversed. Going counter for counter. Now, can it be capitalized on? And Gargano now with the edge. Gallows has got to start turning the tide somehow. Getting him into the corner. Both of the shots to the body. Punishing their opponent. Oh, finishing off with a nasty uppercut. Tag made. Fresh man in. Shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Look at this. Just stop at this. Stop playing possum. Shoulders down. He kicks out at two. That is just pure instinct at this point. <laughs> Hooked up and... Uh-oh, look at this. The STO buckle smash. Uh-oh. No. Cross body. Whoa. Took a massive risk, but it might have paid off. Goes out of the ropes to get back inside. Kick to the lower back. He's starting to struggle here. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Johnny Wrestling with a super kick. Johnny Takeover wants to end this thing right now. Just got clobbered. Unexpected result there. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. Things now not going well for Carl. A swift rhythm of offense here from Johnny. And these guys are trying to prove they belong in the main event, that they are on top of the mountain here. Big time confidence leading to big time matches. I love it. Placed in the corner. Oh. This whole building it looking at it. Could be it. Coming to the rescue. Anderson is in a very vulnerable position here. Eye on the counter. Set him up the Russian leg sweep. So much damage inflicted. Tagged into action. And look at the bloody outcome from that last attack on Ciampa. And that move looked to throw Ciampa off his game. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Close line in the corner! Clean tag for his partner. Oh, strong impact! He got whipped in. Tag made. What are we gonna see now? The OC with a magic killer. That could ground Gargano for good. No kick out of two. Incredible to think. After everything we've witnessed, we are still at a stalemate. Oh, oh my God. Uh oh, look at this. The STO. Lights out here. Oh no, maybe not. No, stops the count at two. And you gotta think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Shifts it back onto him.
In full control here. Face first in the turnbuckle. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Oh, God. Carl works that attack off. Kick to the gut. Hoist them up. Running Liger Bomb. Into the corner. This can't be good. And another counter. Oh, what a right. And yeah, that's an attitude behind it. That was incredible. Uh-oh. Champa's attack is thwarted. Gargano from the apron. Double knee backbreaker. And here comes the cover. Is it enough to... Well, hey, 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 hey. Feet on the ropes. And he left the ropes. What a disappointing way to steal a win. Here are your winners. Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. D. Big win here for Ciampa and Gargano. They say when you know, you know. And I know there's no tag team on the roster that can touch these two guys. Here comes Indy Hartwell, one of the toughest underdogs in the women's division. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Melbourne, Australia. Boiling over with well-deserved confidence. Now she's earned that confidence, Saxton, and she really is impressive. Corey, I'll tell you one thing. She's not just impressive for her age. Indy outshines almost anyone who steps in the ring with her. Let me ask you fellows a question. Is there anybody meaner than Tamina? No way. And from Pacific Islands, Tamina! Tamina's come so close so many times to title glory in WWE for over a decade. Finally, Tamina would experience that crowning achievement becoming one half of the women's tag team champions alongside a fellow veteran, Natalya. Here we 
go. The powerhouse, Indy Hartwell, ready for action. Impressive athleticism, strong resilience, and now with the confidence to go along with all of it. This should be an interesting showing for Indy Wrestling. And then there's Tamina. You know, a popular song once said, I'm only happy when it rains. Well, Tamina's only happy when there's pain. Pain that she's inflicting upon her opponents. That is definitely Tamina's M.O., Corey. Nobody Mina than Tamina. And she makes that clear with everything she does. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. Big clothesline. Tamina gets out of harm's way. Takedown. Indy denies the attack. Oh, what's coming here? Submission move being applied. Abdominal stretch. Fighting out of it. That's one way to get out of it. Oh, Tamina gets cut off. Damn. Oh, my God. Elbow drop. Piercing. And that's not going to make Tamina happy. Seeing some no-nonsense offense from Indy. What does Indy Hartwell have to do here tonight to leave a lasting impression, Corey? I think she'll naturally leave an impression, Cole, but if I were her opponent, I'd be afraid of testing Hartwell's strength. Find another way to beat Indy because she can't outmuscle her. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Sharp clothesline. Getting dangerously close to our desk. That's it. I'm out of here. Just dropped her like she was nothing. into the ring. What a forearm. Oh, just turn that around. Uh-oh. She could be setting up for a submission here. Well, I'm not sure she can escape out of this. Yeah, she does. Turns the tides. Tripling attack on the knee. Just a good old toss for the leg. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Oh, please don't remind me, Corey. Elbow drop. Piercing. Time for her to go home. Oh, no, wait a minute. And she kicks out at two. Close call. That was almost lights out. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Saw that coming. Punch lands. She's fighting back. Bottom uppercut. That'll cost some teeth. From the top. Elbow drop. Good lord. And shoulders are down. There's two. And still hanging on. No celebrations yet. Tamina gets out of harm's way. Jaw shattering boot. To squeeze that shoulder out so close. A torturous knee. Nice counter from Indy. She did her homework there. Great power. Crashing down. Samoan drop. Boot to the stomach. She is being destroyed in there. She's been on the bad end of a beating here, and it's starting to show. She's going up. Top rope here. From the heaven. Oh, my gosh, what impact. Critical danger for Indy. Pin. Oh, she's still alive. Somehow, some way, escapes defeat. Still alive. Was not able to seal the deal with her best move. Now she's asking, what more can I do? Goodness gracious. A non-stop assault from Tamina here. Indy needs to be resourceful in this situation. But did you guys just see the distance traveled on that toss? Into the cover! Falling short tonight, taking the loss.
Yeah, indie wrestling gave it her all, but tonight was not her night. Hopefully she figures out a new game plan. The It Couple is here. The most iconic husband and wife team in all of WWE, according to them. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Maurice from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds. The Miz and Maurice are one of the most dominant pairs the entertainment world has ever seen. In the ring, on TV, on the red carpet, they are always a force to be reckoned with. They certainly do know how to keep themselves in front of the camera and soak up the spotlight. No denying that, Maurice and The Miz have made themselves inescapable. We are graced by the presence of two all-time great competitors. They inspire each other to be better. I'm inspired because they are their best when they are at each other's side. It also makes the cheating a little easier. Half man, half amazing, all MVP. One of the most brilliant minds in WWE. And his opponent from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 259 pounds, Montel Vontavious Porter, MVP. Well, from humble beginnings, He's really invested in himself as MVP. And the investment has paid off. He is 100% a self-made man and wildly successful in sports entertainment. Here's a man who is no stranger to the sweet taste of success. And he knows how to get a win. MVP will win by any means necessary. There's the bell, and it looks like MVP's already talking a little trash. It's not exactly trash talk when you can back it up, Cole. And MVP can absolutely do that. 
with the success he's sustained in just about every facet of this business. Singles, tag team, managing, you name it, he's done it. And done it well. I suppose you have a point, Corey. MVP's as well-rounded of a superstar as I've ever seen. But let's get to the A-lister in the ring, The Miz. Some people have accused The Miz of being a coward who likes to run his mouth and then run away. But that's just the genius strategy of a truly awesome superstar. You look at The Miz's accolades and try and tell me he isn't doing something right. You make a great point, Corey. Some of us might not like how The Miz goes about things, but he's a proven talent in the ring. Many, including The Miz himself, would even argue that he's a vital part of the WWE who gives this company a huge boost of star. From the top! Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off! Taking a chance, and it didn't pay off at all. Oh, oh my goodness. And pressure there being placed on the MVP. There's no denying the awesome in-ring abilities of The Miz. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. He's testing fate here in danger of a countout. Continuing to attack the neck. Oh, draped over the top rope. Look ringside now, guys. This man is doing something very suspicious. The Miz has proven to be an expert when it comes to cheap tricks and underhanded tactics. How do you counter that as his opponent? Is it enough? Two count just kicks out. And frustration might be starting to set in. Chest as well. Flapjack. He's on his heels a bit now. You can tell the Miz was calculating that attack for a while. Steer clear of that. Tremendous quickness with the leg sweep. Uh oh. Miz with awesome awareness. Batting down the hatches. These two are loaded. Neither competitor is backing down. Two Titans trading strikes and refusing to back down. What impressive determination from both competitors. Keeping at each other no matter what. Oh, oh ouch. This is a war of attrition with neither superstar wanting to be the one who surrenders. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. Ooh. No more holding back. The Miz gets the win in this one. I'm sure he'll flood social media with highlights of this one later tonight. Oh, don't be jealous, Saxton. That was just an A-lister doing A-list things.
Get ready for some higher learning. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Thea Hale, at a combined weight of 469 pounds, Andre Chase and Duke Hudson. Chase, you! Saxon, why don't you go try out as a cheerleader for Chase U? I did already. They said no. And the Chase U section is firmly behind their representatives tonight. I'd hate to be the class clowns facing them tonight. Here come two superstars made of pure athleticism. The Street Profits are more dangerous now than ever before. Yeah, they may still party, but it's all business first. And their opponents at a combined weight of 492 pounds. Tag Team Champions, NXT Raw and SmackDown. You know what that means, Michael? It doesn't matter what the brand is, the Street Profits always bring the smoke. We're about to get an education in the ring here from Chase U. Well, they're impressive in their academics. They're even more impressive in the ring. This is a team that studies the in-ring game very hard. And every time they step into the ring, it shows. I expect we're going to see some new things from the Chase U curriculum tonight. And I hope they brought their red cups because the Street Profits are bringing the party. Well, as entertaining as they are, Saxton, Dawkins and Ford have made sure their flash doesn't outshine their abilities. For every ounce of swagger they have, they have twice the talent. Ah, oh, that got turned around on Dawkins. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. And a nice takedown. Oh, the arm taking the brunt of that. Got him where he wants him. Up and Falcon Arrow suplex. Carefully measuring. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. Gets out of there in a hurry. Effect yeah. makes the cover. No, he kicks out. Starting to see the tolls of this match add up. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Pancaked by the splash. For the record, Saxton, you and I would never have that kind of chemistry. Hey, I'd be a great teammate. I've seen you trip over your own left foot. No thank you. Oh, that 
was just insulting. But I guarantee they're going to take great umbrage with that offense. Tagged in. Oh, that uppercut by the lost the tooth. Andre wards that attack off. Able to get the advantage here. Put in a position now. Ooh, dropped right on their face. Bruising attack to the stomach. And he goes for the pin. No, a kick out. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Tossed into the corner. Right to the gut. Oh, my gosh. What one hand. Just got thrown around like a sack of you-know-what. Oh, no. Now possibly setting up for a submission maneuver. We're going to find an escape from the abdominal stretch. Uh-oh, found it. And he wants nothing to do. Uh-oh. Somersault plancha to the floor. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. <laughs> Establishing complete control. Being able to pull that off, no one is going to question if you skip going to the gym today. Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table. None of these things are fun to collide with. Cover, cover. No, he pops the shoulder before three. He's determined to keep this matchup going. What a shot. Distress starting to show on Hudson's face. Absolutely. Dawkins is breaking his adversary down. Frog splash. Completely steamrolled. Oh, what a knee. Uh-oh. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. Ah, stops the legs. Getting him into the corner. Uncorked a big punch. Forearm to the kidney! He's got him scouted. Ooh. Loving blow. Uh -oh. oh, shoulder first. And the ring just shifted. Oh, caught that foot by surprise. Uh-oh. Face first. Denied and reversed into a DDT. Oh, my God. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. Leaving himself open here. Oh, no. Better make reservations at the local medical facility. Registered. Set up in the corner of the ring. Boom! What a right! Andre Chase getting taught a lesson of his own. Looking vulnerable on that top turnbuckle. Able to capitalize on Chase's mistake. Jeez, that could take you out. Oh, my, what a splash. Targeting the arm to great effect. Moved at the right time. Float up. Uh-oh. Blow to the abdomen gets them out of that. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Got him. Uh 
the first row. Yes, tag. Vicious right forearm. Uh-oh, SOS. And Dawkins got led right into harm's way on that exchange. Take your notes. That was quick and effective delivery by Chase. are reeling after tonight's difficult loss. For my money, these two just might be the best tag team on the roster today.
the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Jimmy Uso, representing the Bloodline from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sokoa! We're looking at some of the most intense competitors in all of WWE, about to take part in one of the most anticipated matches ever. He said he'll steal the show here tonight, and he looks more than ready to deliver on that promise. Here comes Gallus. A group of true Scottish hooligans. And his opponent, accompanied by Joe Coffey, representing Gallus from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 238 pounds. Stepping out of the pub tonight to take care of business. I'm sure they're in a rush to get back there, too. Facing an opponent who's unfazed, unflappable, must simply bring the fight to Solo Sokoa. The tough as nails, Mark Coffey, as always, ready for a fight. No doubt about it. Coffey only has one thing on his mind, and that is to lay waste to the competition. It doesn't matter to him how he gets it done, as long as he is able to have his arm raised at the end of the night. Scary focus in the eyes of Coffee tonight. Determined as ever. He's got to get through the enforcer, Solo Sokoa, though. And Solo is not someone you just get through. Uh, most superstars are lucky if they can simply survive Solo. He's just so menacing. Hey, look at my arms. I've got goosebumps, and I'm not even in the match. Oh, Bulldog! One-handed. Somebody better check his nose. Mark didn't see that coming. Extending their opponent's arm out. Oh, man! Leg drop arm breaker! Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Oh. Well, this matchup has been pretty even so far. Bolt down, collision, middle of the ring. Wait, hold on. What, what, what is happening here? These two can't be inside the ring. Tempers yeah. obviously gotten out of control. Good job, referee. And you too. Now, maybe we can focus on this map. He could pin his opponent right here. to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Something of a competitive edge has been brewing between these superstars lately. A drive to prove who really has the upper hand here. Their competition. Mark Coffey, snapmare to his opponent in crowning glory. That's going to keep Sokoa down. The cover! Whoa. And he's still in the game. He's taking some serious hurt, but somehow he's still in this. I think he managed that kick out on pure instinct alone. All of that work, all these big moves, and it still didn't earn the fall. Oh, Sokoa holding him at bay. Spinning solo! 
The ferocity of Sokoa on display there. On the market with no remorse. Obviously still has some fight left. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Leg drop. He's looking a little weary now. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Letting his opponent know respect is earned, and he's still a dollar short. Strike for strike, it seems. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? One response after another. Back and forth we go. A stalemate of counters. And now Mark Coffey is bleeding. Elbow drop. Ooh, well planted knee. Ouch. Mark Coffey has it marked. Control, crowning glory. Mark Coffey could end it here. Shoulders down. And he fights it off. What do you have to do to put this guy away? to great effect. Nothing pretty, just effective, hard-hitting offense. These men have been all gas and no breaks tonight, and they have to be feeling the effects. Well, they have to be running on fumes. I don't know how much longer they can go. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. Elbow thrown, saying not today. Rearing way back. There's a Samoan spike. Mark is out. That's it. Not a win. Wow, he's going to celebrate all night long. Here is your winner, Solo Sokoa. Well, I guess we know who had more fight in him. Or just who got the better end of that chaotic free-for-all earlier on. Or either way, they managed to get the win. Well, they certainly seem very pleased with themselves. And they should be, coming out on top in what turned out to be a hard-fought match. Symphony can only mean one thing. It is time for Seth freaking Rollins. Listen to the WWE Universe. They're singing along, and they're not done yet. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa. Seth Rollins is one of the elite superstars in WWE, and the list of competitors he's put down reads like a who's who of future Hall of Famers. 
If we know one thing about the visionary, it's that he's always down for some action. Rollins doesn't take a back seat to anyone. Rollins enters the ring like a principal conductor about to lead an orchestra. And just like he controls this crowd, Rollins knows exactly what he's doing and can play his opponents like a finely tuned instrument. Someone's about to be taught a grappling lesson. A painful one, no doubt. And his opponent from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. This is a man who certainly is never shy about torturing his opponents. Got to get himself locked in to go against the visionary. Yeah, I'm sure he's done his homework, and I'm sure he's well aware that Seth Rollins can easily manipulate you into making a mistake. Singles action underway with Seth freaking Rollins ready to go. Rollins is always ready for a fight, always ready to take on all comers. And the visionary isn't shy about saying so. Rollins is as talented and athletically gifted as he is brash. In the WWE Universe, well, they absolutely love it. They have serenaded Rollins to victory before. Let's see if it works again tonight. And what can you say about Drew Gulak other than he's a man who has dedicated his entire life to mastering wrestling. He's a no-frills competitor who is all about substance in the ring. Even I have to admit, Gulak's knowledge of grappling is staggering. But it's that incredible mind for wrestling that makes him a constant threat to any superstar that crosses his path. Oh. And all of Gulak's in-ring knowledge couldn't get him out of harm's way there. Rollins unleashed his athleticism there. Hard landing on the gut. It's got to be hard taking on an opponent like Seth freaking Rollins, Corey. Always plotting, always scheming. How about always bending the rules to their limit? But I will concede, as talented a superstar as Rollins is, we've seen those tactics backfire on. If you can, bide your time and wait for a lapse in Rollins' judgment. But you got to act fast. Oh, impressive counter. Pride, top wrist lock, opponent down to one knee. Now starts to fight out with some punches to the gut. Oh, Seth gets caught with a counter. Reversal from Gulak. Up and down, what a gourd buster. Raw is escaping danger. the stomach gives them separation. Powerless position to be in right now. Oh, snake eyes caving in their face. And now he's looking for Spook. Out. Barrel roll to Bay. Soaring out of the ring, looking to do as much damage as possible. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. Delivered into the barricade. Oh my goodness. There's the... Some mental chess here from Rollins. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. Gulak putting something together. Oh, stop. Gotta wonder if that keeps him down or fires him up. Makes the cover. Oh, he was almost finished. And a kick out. Feeling the physical and mental toll from almost losing to your own move. This was the moment to capitalize on. That should have been the end. Oh, arm bar. Just stretching out the arm. Reversal. 
didn't go as Seth designed. Oh, elbow right to the bread basket for their troubles. And responds with a counter of their own. is turning into an all-out battle. No holding back. We could be here all night with the rate things are going. Springboard by Rollins. We might be close to the end. I don't want to say he's done, but I can hear the fat lady warming up. Maybe all that studying Drew Gulak does needs to come to the surface somehow. Oh, look at this. Hoist it up. Gut buster. Connecting with the moonsault. Is it enough? The cover. Two. Seth Rollins wins. Here is your winner, Seth Freaking Rollins. Try as he might, Drew Gulak couldn't get the W tonight. Rollins feeling the energy of the WWE Universe as they celebrate his victory. I better not hear you singing his theme, Saxton. From out of the shadows, Uncle Howdy is here. A being who seems to dwell in the darkest parts of our minds. Might be a spirit, maybe an alter ego, perhaps an evil twin. The truth is, we just don't know. Hey, do you guys see that? Yeah, he must have thought this was his entrance music. I don't think he's made a mistake. Whoa, jump-starting the action. <laughs> that is some unsportsmanlike conduct. Oh, give me a break, Saxton. The referee trying to get things in order and finally getting this match underway. Good luck. They're definitely not thinking about the match right now. Then a thunderous forearm to follow. This arena can't contain them, and if history's any indication, nothing good's about to happen up there either. Gunther got surprised there. Boy, you're a pin uppercut. Facing off at the top of the ramp. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to hurt. Suplex. Launched. It has to be tough being as rigid as Gunther is. You have to wonder if Gunther is going to bend or break here tonight. Cole, you wouldn't understand the higher standard that Gunther holds himself to. There's a reason why he has been so internationally successful, and he hasn't broken yet. When you hold yourself to his level, you're just better. Plain and simple. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Oh, man, right to the esophagus. These superstars are showing no concern for their own well-being. All that matters to them right now is doing as much damage to one another as possible. And now gets tossed into the ring. 
And now this match has officially begun. I'm not even sure the word official is in their vocabulary at this point. I think you're right, Saxton, and I love it. Howdy with the counter. He deflects it right back. Escapes the attack. Boom! Scorpion death drop. A show of disrespect from Howdy. <laughs> Stiff headbutt. And it looked like Guther was the one that cringed there. Yeah, Uncle Howdy came prepared for this matchup. And he had Uncle Howdy's number. Oh, look at his aggression in the corner. Yeah, oh. on the throat in the corner. But this could also light a fire under you. Make you fight even harder. In recent weeks, they have really started to test each other's limits. I'm not sure just how far this rivalry will grow, but you can really start to feel the tension between them. Forearm after forearm after forearm. Good night. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. He knew that was coming. The ring general showing off his power. Driven down with the power bomb. Big opening for Gunther to take this. Kicks out, just kicked out. Are we sure that wasn't three? Uh, just about as close as you can get. It is just unbelievable. And Gunther's tank has got to be running low, guys. I don't know what his game plan is now. Another one. A knee drop delivered. So precise. Uh -oh. Fought back with a punch to the gut. No signs of either combatant backing down. Oh, had that well scouted. Howdy is becoming a bloody mess in there. So much pride, so much resiliency on display. Each exchange just sapping the energy from these two. The willpower, the sheer guts of these two. Submission maneuver here. Look at the pain as a part. Fighting out of the dragon sleeper successfully. of high risk, high reward. Gunter from behind, looking to cinch it in. This one may be over. Good night. Well, this won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict a great deal of punishment. And watch this, letting him free. Had him where he wanted him, but maybe he has something better planned. And he tosses him back in now. Chop. He's been placed in the corner now. In full control here. Face first in the turnbuckle. <laughs> Draped across the top turnbuckle. And that was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Climbing up top. He's got big play from the top. Oh, God. That, that, that's a bad landing. That misstep could have cost them this match entirely. A hard landing for sure. That repeated forearms to the face. Goodness.
clothesline. It is unbelievable what these athletes have been putting each other through. Looking for a scoop slam, but from behind, inverted DDT. Look at this. Here we go, guys. Dragon sleeper gets to the ropes, and that's going to cause the ref to break the hold. Climbing up to the top now. Oh, my God. to land a big headbutt. Torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. Oh. Muscles up their opponent. Oh. Emerald Frozen. End of the line for Uncle Howard. Gunther secures the win. stands tall and gets the win. Tonight is the ring general's time to bask in his glory. Another notch on the belt for one of the toughest competitors walking the planet. yet if this is any indication this is going to be a wild matchup well the match is starting outside the ring two teams with nothing in common and no middle ground clearly a lot of hostile feelings between these superstars couldn't even wait for the match to begin before getting their hands on each other Certainly a very dramatic start to this contest. Just goes to show how intense this match is going to be. Yeah, clearly this fight has been a long time coming, and now there is no more holding back. Picture perfect drop kick. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. Team leg drop. Whoa. Across the top rope, all the way to the floor. What a close line. Oh, man. Ooh. Oh, what a close line. Boom, a forearm smash. for a pin so soon. There he goes, right into the corner. Oh, double super kick. 
possibly testing just how tenacious Woods can be there. Technique paid off for Los Lotharios. Tag made. Tag made. Great reaction from Kofi. Tough position to be caught in here. Ooh, pinpointing the trick here. He can do it here. Powers throw after two. He really thought that was it. And an elbow. Caught with a punch. What a counter. position. into the ropes and attacking the lower back. Big back. Will this be enough? Save! Uh -huh. Still got more fight here. Sight set on the top rope. Flying. Missile drop kick. He's struggling a bit here. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. This incredibly hostile rivalry has reached levels we don't often see around here. This has been a defining journey for these superstars. They're not the same people they were when this thing started. There's no telling where it will all end. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Carefully measured guillotine across the neck. Things not going well now for Angel. Yeah, now Angel's got to turn the momentum around. Integrate to the floor. side of the ring, there is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. The military press, followed by the gut check. It's 
mark. Ouch. Woods, top row with the... He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. Kick to the gut, cinched up here. Here we go. Face first. Tagging his partner in now. Four, two. Still going to take a massive effort to keep him down. Not quite smooth. Oh, no, it's roll up. And he kicks out of the pin in one. Refusing to give up even an inch of ground as this match continues. Getting set up. Tag, Tag made. Oh, I think something bad is about to happen to their opponent. Down they go. I'm not liking Umberto's odds here. Trying to end it. He keeps his team in the match. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. I don't know how these men keep going. They gotta be close to running on empty by now. Uh-oh. Great wherewithal on the counter. What a crossbody. Kofi transmitting the power of positivity right about now. Tag is made, and here we go. Hooked up. DDT. He's finding himself in trouble here. He needs to get himself some room to regroup fast. Down to Odin, and a double axe handle smash. Just look at Kofi go. Impressive string of attacks from Kofi here. Boom, drop. This has got to be it! And that will end it. Here are your winners, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, the new day. What a battle this was, but the win is secured despite the unexpected events that transpired earlier. Sometimes your plans work. Sometimes they don't. Their plan of attack just didn't have the desired effect. Or maybe you shouldn't be planning to win by using cheap tricks in the first place.